Hi, in this video we're going to create this texture in Substance Painter for this model. So stick around until the end. If you are interested in learning the latest 3D techniques, particularly in Blender, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Before we begin, let me introduce our Asset Distro website, where you can explore a variety of free and premium assets. We offer high-quality game-ready assets and also Blender projects, all of which you are free to use in any of your projects. So be sure to check out our store at store.blackcave.com. Here. I have a model in Substance Painter without any texture and color. I want to create uh, realistic textures for it and I can utilize many ways. But the best and easiest way is to use smart materials provided by Substance Painter itself. Or you can create uh, your smart materials from scratch. You need to navigate to this section and sort your assets you will see many uh, pre-made smart materials provided by substance painter these materials are basic they are not uh, so complicated and you can add additional features to them this model consists of two parts the first is the body of the model which is a metal surface and this part uh, which is a kind of plastic. First, let's create the metallic section material and textures. From this section, I need to find an appropriate material for uh, the model. For example, uh, this is good. Uh, which is uh, provides cavity and dirty areas. I need to drag it in the layer section. But I have a big problem. And what we have seen in the preview of the material, we can't see it in this preview on our model. For example, we can't see any red color or cavity or dirty areas. So, uh, what is the problem? These smart materials use baked maps that we need to uh, bake some special maps onto the model. For example, cavity map, ambient occlusion, normal, and so on. So, where is the map baking section? In the general properties, I need to scroll down and here we can see a button called Bake Mesh Maps. Here I need to adjust the properties. For example, in this section, I need to select the material or materials that I want to generate uh, maps for. I only have one material in the scene, so I don't need to change anything. Here I need to select uh, which maps I want to bake. For example, uh, normal, world space normal, ID ambient occlusion curvature, which is uh, provides cavities, uh, position and thickness. And don't modify them. And also I don't need height you know, band normals and opacity. In this section, I need to change the resolution. Output size should be something, for example, 4K. And also I need to uh, activate the use low poly mesh as high poly mesh. Some models, for example, creatures and characters, need two versions. Uh, the first version is the low poly version that we load in the Substance Painter, and the second is a high poly mesh that we need to load as the reference to baked meshes. For this model, I don't need a high poly mesh, and I need to activate this button. After Dead, we don't need any configuration. So press the big selected textures. It will take a minute, for example, and it will be ready. Now I have all the maps. Uh, select the return to painting mode. And here, as you can see, the smart material applied properly. Now it recognizes the uh, cavities and edges and here it properly applies the dirty areas and so on. 
Now I need to adjust the material and add some features. Here, uh, the smart material that we applied to the model is a folder that we can create a folder here that includes uh, four sub layers. The paint layer includes the main color, these edges, and the rust is the dirty areas that you can see in these areas, for example. Then you can disable it or here. First, let's change the main color. Select this layer and scroll down. Here I have all the color channels except normal. First, let's change the base color. For example, this model has a color like this. All right. Next, I need to change the metallic section. Here, I need to increase it because the body of uh, this model is kind of metallic. For example, this value works well. And also, I need to change the base color. Here, this is good. Next, I need to change the roughness and decrease it. All right, this value works well. Next, I need to uh, adjust the rust layer, but not the layer itself. I need to go to this section, the mask layer that uses a generator, generator uses uh, all the maps we uh, baked uh, at the previous step. Here you can see many properties. I need to change balance, for example. Here if I make any changes, I can see it here. Uh, decrease the contrast and to fade the dirty layer. Right, the rust layer was too powerful and I uh, made some changes in balance and contrast properties. Also, I can uh, decrease the opacity of this layer. For example, this value works. Now, I need to add another layer to add some rough areas in, for example, these areas. Now, it's not good. Uh, here, I need to create a fill layer and uh, press Alt and click on the rough to select the rough channel only. And pick a high value, for example, this. Now, I need to mask this layer. Right click and add a black mask. And then I need to fill the mask with a grayscale texture. Right click on the black mask and add a fill layer. Here to load the grayscale texture and apply it on the model, I have two options. Uh, in the projection section, I can apply the texture based on UV or I can apply it based on the world space or triplanar or planar. I prefer triplanar projection to apply um, the texture globally. Now in the grayscale texture, I can use textures provided by Susan's Painter. For example, let's select this texture. And here I need to adjust the balance and contrast. This is good and contrast. This value 0.2 works well. Now I have an additional roughness layer. And 
It makes the work more realistic. Okay, uh, where is this scratches layer? Because uh, this is the paint layer, this is the rust layer, but where is this scratches? This metal layer is this scratches and we can uh, adjust it. For example, in the base color, we can pick a darker color and decrease the opacity of the scratches with this method. And now this is good. In the next step, I need to add another material for this section, which is a kind of plastic surface. We can use this material, but also we can utilize a plastic smart material. For example, uh, we can see many plastic smart materials here. Let's use this and drag it here. All right, I need to limit this uh, layer to area one. I need to uh, right click on it and add a black mask and, and right click on the mask and select a paint layer. Here I can paint on this surface to remove the masks, but I prefer another way that is polygon fill, which I can select the polygons to remove the masks. I can select, I need to select the polygons I want. But before that, I need to press the L key to activate the symmetry tool. And, and as you can see, all the changes I will um, make it will apply to this side as well. All right, go to the paint layer and here I can see it applies very well. Now I need to change the sub layers. Here, the first thing I need to change is the base color. And this, this color is good. Also, I need to increase the metallic a little and good. Now I need to reduce the uh, opacity of the dust layer. All right, good. Next, I wanna add a uh, pattern to this layer. I need to work with height. Let's add a fill layer and select the height. And, for example, choose this value. Next, uh, right click and add a black mask and then a fill layer. Here I need to change the triplanar. Uh, it's arbitrary and you can use, for example, planar or UV. Select a specific pattern. For example, this. Right now, I need to increase the tiling. Okay, and change the height. It's this is good. And also, I need to change the rotation of this fill layer. Here, let's change the rotation. All right, now I need to change the edges of this section. Let's add a fill layer and select the color, for example, add a black mask and uh, I need to add a generator. Next, I need to pick a generator uh, based on cavities, ambient occlusion and so on. For example, here I can select metal edge wear. Nice, it's good. Next, let's adjust the color. 
for example, this, this is good. Next, let's add a screw here. Add a filler and we need color, uh, metallic, it's in high. Increase the metallic and yeah, roughness is good. And hide. This will really works well. Add a black mask and then paint layer. Now I need to paint the screw on the surface. And also for the side. But as you can see, the pattern is applied to this area and I need to mask it. So I need to go to this layer. And here in the paint section, I need to mask this layer by pressing the X key to invert the mask process. All right, good. You can download this smart material from our store and also the link is in the description. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And feel free to share your questions and ideas in the comments.